guys, how's it hanging? Welcome to the 9th episode of our TCG GBC series. Last episode, we've beat all of the grunts, I would call, um, <laughs> from the psychic team. And now, well, last episode, I asked very nicely for you guys to channel your inner powers for us to take on this gym leader. Especially because I don't think we have many cards to make a new deck from, like as of now. So we'll just run with what we've got. And this guy was pretty easy, this girl was kind of difficult. Let's see what the gym leader is all about. His name's Murray. Let me see. If this happens, then that. So, um... Clubmaster Murray doesn't listen to what people are saying. Let me see. Oh! And he says the, the exact same, same thing. So, should we do something before? Because as we all know already, um, this old guy here gives us a promo card if we beat the, the gym leader, Murray. So, um, we should maybe uh, use a we could use actually a battle with this little guy here because I, I think we didn't battle him last episode when we talked to him so let's go, why not, right? Let's make his, his Pokemon disappear, <laughs> okay So let's shuffle our decks Oh, no basic Pokemon in my hand We've got Magneton, Lightning Energies, Full Heal, Pokedex, yeah, a pretty crappy hand, but let's see what our second hand looks like. I'm really grateful that Pokemon is like that, because um, if you ever play the Yu-Gi-Oh, you'd know that um, if you don't have a Pokemon like a, sorry, <laughs> a monster right away to put on on the arena, it doesn't really matter, like, you can't um, search for a new hand unless you have, like, um, a whole magic and traps hand, which is pretty sucky. <laughs> but yeah, Pokemon is a friendly game, so it does let you search for a new hand. And we're playing first, which is really cool. I think it's like a tradition here, where, like, um, one time I go first and then my opponent goes first. For me, so it's okay, you know? It's pretty okay. So, we draw a switch, which is really nice, and a lightning energy. Cool. Let's dig. Does dig... Oh! <laughs> Come on! He resists. Okay. I kinda... Uh, forgot about that. Like, seriously. Because I was thinking about, like, um, fighting Pokemon being on the on the normal games uh, super effective against psychic Pokemon. But then I was like, oh, it's not psychic. I know it's like a psychic gym, but he's actually ghost and poison, as you all know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's put this energy onto Tauros, I think, because he's the one that can probably take um, this guy out. And we're paralyzed, which is kind of okay, because we wouldn't make any damage to him anyway, because of the resistances. It, and it's cool that we... Oh! So we're gonna see a Gengar here. Okay. It's okay, because um, Gengar can't attack us right now, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, he can't. Okay. But he already has two energies, which is kind of frightening for me. Um, We'll put Magmar here. And I'll check him before putting another energy into him, because I do like him, but yeah. As I was thinking, he needs two energies in order to attack. And honestly, I prefer to 
uh, pump Taurus a little bit more. Uh, I'll dig just because, because we're not uh, dealing anything to him. Yeah. And then next turn, we're gonna switch into our Taurus. If your opponent has benched Pokemon, choose one of them and this attack does 10 damage to it. Okay, will he choose our Taurus? Predicting our switch? I wasn't expecting him to attack like um this early. That's why we just lost, lost Diglett. I'm sorry. It, I totally misplayed this one. I'm really sorry. I was having kind of a stomach ache um, earlier today. Because I went out to eat yesterday. And let's just say that I ate a lot of curry. Like, a lot. And um, <laughs> I have gastritis, so... I can't handle <laughs> too much curry. Oh, Dark Mind again. Do we even resist him? Yes, we resist no damage at all, guys. It's 30 damage. Whoa, that's so cool. That gave me like <laughs> a shot on this, you know? Um, let's put the fire energy into Magmar. And let's stomp again, why not? We can deal 10 more damage if we're... Oh, we weren't lucky enough. It's okay. Two more of those with no additional um, damage should kill him. Curse. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokémon to add another. Even if it would knock out the other Pokémon. This power can't be used if Gengar is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. Okay. So he's putting an energy into Rattata? Was that it? That was weird. Yeah, yeah, th that uh, that's exactly it. <laughs> My Rattata was knocked out. Oh, you're so smart. Okay. Robert is um, pro-playing me right now. I would say, but um, I believe in Tauros, I do believe him. So let's stomp. Yes, 10 additional damage. Even though we would have knocked, knocked him out with uh, two attacks anyway, so this additional damage didn't do much. Whoa, Tauros is being the real MVP now. But. I'll have to be really careful about my benched Pokemon because they might or might not uh, be knocked out by this attack but Gengar is going down anyway so I don't have to bother with this attack anymore let's choose wisely, let's choose this one <laughs> that was kind of wise because we drew the Charmeleon one turn before, I do believe. <gasps> he didn't have benched Pokemon. That's it. We won. Okay. How could my Pokemon, my ghost deck lose? Yeah. You lost and we've won an evolution booster, which is pretty nice. So let's see what this long, long naked Charizard has to give us. <gasps> we've got another Charizard, guys. So we have Charizard with Energy Burn and Fire Spin, which does a hundred damage. Then we have Hunter, Kakuna, Graveler, Ghastly, Gust of Wind, the damn card, <laughs> Jigglypuff, Squirrel, Caterpie, and a Psychic Energy. Okay. And another booster pack. Okay. <gasps> Guys. The beautiful Gengar! I think now we have like um means to use two uh, different Gengars if we, you know, if we're up to it like in the future. But yeah, we got Gengar, Kingler, Rapidash, Machoke, Ghastly, Pidgey, Starmie, Metapod, Gust of Wind and another Psychic Energy. I want to lose next time, let's duo again. 
Not, not, not now. <laughs> Chill out. So, do we have Mayu? Oh, we have. Okay. Are you getting any closer to inherent the legendary Pokemon cards? Murray of the Psychic Club, I have some information on his deck. It seems to be a deck that uses Alakazam's damage swap. Swap, sorry guys. <laughs> it will be difficult to defeat his deck of Psychic Pokemon. Psychic Pokemon are tricky since their weakness is Psychic Pokemon. Try to defeat him before his Pokemon evolve into Alakazam. Murray is a tough opponent. Here, take this. <laughs> It's like, um, oh, forget about it, guys. <laughs> uh, I would say it's like the the most uh, known phrase of um, Zelda, but yeah. Uh, we've received a laboratory booster pack. Oh, that's nice. We have a Hypno, a Golduck, Golbat, Dodrio, Slowpoke, Magnemite, a Gambler Trainer card. Onyx, Grimer, and the Duo. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Like, um, if he's as tough as Dr. Mason says, we pretty much like need a psychic Pokemon. I think. Let's just um talk with Murray just one more time, cause I'm not entirely sure. Like, why? <laughs> why doesn't he want to, to battle me? That's why I'm questioning myself now. But yeah, since he doesn't want to, I guess we have to, you know, try another one. Should we go into the fighting club? Because the water one, we have to make some some swaps in our team, like seriously, or else we're getting totally blue. But yeah, let's go into the fighting club. Although I do believe that um, fighting Pokemon are weak. Cause, um, sorry guys, <laughs> um, the my fire Pokemon, I think they're weak against fighting because there's no ground Pokemon in the TCG. So maybe? Um, if I were just a few years younger, I'd be dueling with you kids too. Oh, Pokemon has no age, come on, why are you talking like that? <laughs> Hi, it's you, what's up? Did you decide to give me your Graveler? Oh... Have we already got into this gym and I'm not um, quite remembering it? I was just saying, which Grandmaster is the best? I think Steve is the best player. Guys, I do believe it. we've already... Oh, we didn't! That's the one that we have to defeat all of his pupils. So maybe now we can try and defeat one of his pupils? There's no one of them here? Th there's one of them here. So let's go! Hi Charlie, would you duel me? Okay. Let's go, Michael. Okay, a single match for four prizes. Let's begin. If you guys don't remember or haven't watched it, or it was our second or third episode, I will say. But I'm not sure. I will put like a annotation card on on the video, so you guys can go into this episode if you didn't see and watch it. But We've got blown up by, by this guy, like, the first time we actually tried to du duel with him. So, <laughs> let's see how this duel is going. We're playing first, which is cool, which is pretty lucky. But, yeah, I'm kind of frightened. Oh, Magmar first turn! Okay! So let's scout our options. We have the Pokédex, which we can see the five um, top cards on your deck and then rearrange them as you'd like. And I'll do this. I'll do this, guys. Let's use it and rearrange our cards. So I'll put Professor Oak first, then this energy, this energy, Growlithe and Lightning energy. <laughs> Did I just like almost put them on the exact same spot they were? 
because if so, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we need two energies. That's kind of crappy. He has a benched Pokemon. I don't have a benched Pokemon. Okay, let's put this energy into Growlithe and end our turn. And, and scout this uh, Michael here. Magmar can't attack with one energy, that's for sure. But yeah, um, Professor Oak will help us. Um, let me just check. Yeah, we have to discard our hand. Not using it right away just because of our potion. We have to have a, a flare. Oh my, I should have put the fire energy first. So we're in our turn. Next turn, we're having the fire energy on our hands. And maybe Magmar can attack us now. Oh, he can't. Cool, cool. I forgot about Magmar's um, attacks, but I know you have to have lots of energies to attack him. So let's flare. Is it going to be 20 damage anyway? Yeah, it is. That's cool. That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, Magmar. Uh, seems like a bulkier Pokemon. Oh, potion of your own. Okay, so uh, Magmar looks like a bulkier Pokemon, but as you can see, our Growlithe here, which is just a puppy, has more HP than him, so that's okay for me. That's pretty okay for me. We don't have any Pokemon to put on our, on our bench, which is kind of crappy, and I'm Kind of waiting for us to have damage on Growlithe to use the potion and then use the Professor Oak card. So, but <laughs> I'm not rushing this damage, guys. I'm not rushing it at all. He can finish turns without attacking, like, for his life. And I'm super okay with it. Yeah, and, and he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. Maybe when, he, when we tried to um, duel him, before he just got a really lucky hand um, that's what I'm kind of thinking now because I mean why would you put a magmar on the arena if you looked at your oh okay that maybe that's why <laughs> Thunder Punch, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 damage plus 10 more damage. If tails, this attack does 30 damage and Electabuzz does 10 damage to itself. So, tails? 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 Oh, come on! So, now's the perfect turn for us to use our potion. And maybe already use the Professor Oak. Because this Electabuzz is not looking promising, guys. It's not looking promising. Um, yeah, Professor Oak card, let's use you. Draw more cards, newer cards for our hand. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Um, let's use the Bill card, why not? So, nine cards on our hand. Like that, and an, an Arcanine, let's check. Okay, we have to have another, which we don't, that sucks. So we're not evolving, we're not evolving. I should have used uh, my second potion, but I'm kind of relying on the second energy. <gasps> He's gonna take us out, if he gets the, the heads He's gonna take us out. Please don't do this, please, please, please. Yes! Oh my god, that was so lucky. That was so... Oh! Why? Shouldn't it do... Okay, I'm not even, even questioning, honestly. So, our new Growlithe here, guys, can't attack, which is, you know bad <laughs> to say the least but um, we can use a energy search so let's take this fire energy here 
Shuffle our deck. Put this fire energy into Growlithe. And put the fighting energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Don't do this to yourself. So let's flare this Electabuzz. Let's flare him to death. Oh, it's not to death, actually. <laughs> But it will be on the next turn. This, just watch out for that, guys. Okay, monkey is getting pumped. Oh, defender! A attack def attach defender to one of your Pokemon. At the end of your opponent's turn, discard defender. Damage done to that Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Okay. And he's choosing his Electabuzz, of course. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, nice, nice. So we do we still have the potion? And I believe we do. Which is cool. Oh he used the, the defender, so he wouldn't knock himself out, I do believe. Whoa! He was smart. That was a smart play. Congrats on him for that. Um let me see. Arcanine needs which kinds of energies? Oh, okay. Um, we can't evolve, so I'll potion. I'll potion because I want. I don't want to, you know, have a Pokemon on the arena that can't attack. Um, the double colorless energy. I think no one here re um re really needs it, so let's just flare. <laughs> and try to knock him out yeah that was what I was thinking the defender goes into his and my turn monkey will use the Pokemon power peak what once during your turn before your attack you may look at one of the following the top deck or of either players deck a random card from your opponent's hand oh or one of either player's prizes. Oh, he looked at my double colorless, come on! Then he evolved his Pokemon because he's too afraid of our Pokemon. Tails, come on, seriously. Oh, that's so nasty, that's so nasty. We'll have to either switch, oh, fuck, that's so that was clutch. That was just clutch, guys. Growlithe, come on, let's attack. Let's see what you're all about. Okay, flamethrower, you have to um, take one of your energies and take down doesn't need to detach one energy. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, but you damage yourself. I should have read it. Okay, I'm afraid. I'm honestly afraid. Oh, come on. Is Arcanine going through this? No. It isn't. Oh, come on. Come on. That was lucky. To say the least. Yeah. Arcanine was knocked out and Michael got his second prize. None of our Pokemon has energies, which sucks. So... Let's go into Charmander. Now, thinking about it, I really should have read what um, our Pokemon needed um, in order to deal that attack. Because now I'm like, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I shouldn't have wasted, I think, these energies now on Tauros because he's weak against Primeape. But let's see. Let's see how this goes. Because Charmander can scratch. He doesn't need a specific fire energy, although we have it. And we didn't receive damage, which it would be cool if <laughs> it um, happened with our um, Arcanine. But no, <laughs> of course not, right? 
Let's scratch, that's what we can do for now, but then we can Ember on the next turn, which is cool. And once Primeape is lowered on his HP, we can try and switch into Tauros and then deal some damage. But I would have to look at... Oh! Oh! He has a attack that does 50 damage! What the fuck? That's all my Charmander's health! He's confused? Okay... So yeah, I was thinking that this specific duo would be kinda on the cool side, but no, it isn't. <laughs> um, let's see. Actually, actually, let's put this into Zapdos. He's gonna be our last resort, let's say. Oh, oh, okay, so we'll have to stomp. Please, please heads, because if we don't have heads, we're not dealing any damage to him. Yeah. Oh, he's weak against us? I thought it was the opposite. Because aren't normal Pokemon in the normal games, not the TCG, again, um, weak against fighting? That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird, guys. But this Prime is going down. This duo is um, going back to to its promising first um, instance. Um, fire energy? No, no one wants this fire energy. So let's pump this Jiglet. Glitched. <laughs> I would say glitched, and I don't even know why. <laughs> okay. Damage? Yes! That's all so cool when we're able to hit more damage than... Deal more damage, actually, sorry, than we thought we would. It's almost a, a comforting feeling, you know? Like, you almost feel like home. <laughs> it almost feels like home, sorry. Oh, yeah. Here goes the weaknesses I was talking about. So, we're gonna put this energy into a... Oh! I should have put this into Zapdos. Sorry. I'm really sorry for this one, guys. It's okay. Not confused. Alright! Not freaking confused. Um, even if our Taurus goes down, it's okay. We, we did a lot of damage to this Hitmonchan. And I think he didn't want to do already. Oh, he did. It's not alright. We just lost. <laughs> oh. Okay, one win, one lose, you know, guys. Uh, you're still. You know how he remembers? You're still. No match for me. I'll be here, so come back after you train more. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slap in the face, man. That was a freaking slap on the face. <laughs> so let's check here. This rock gym. Oh, excuse me, did you hear? It's the talk of the town that Ishihara wishes to trade a very rare card. Maybe I'll visit him myself. Gee, I lost. Matthew's really good. You probably inherit the, le inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. No, he's not. You know why, chap? Because I am. I am the greatest um, duelist and I am inheriting, inheriting those cards. I'm going to be moving soon to a faraway place. Oh, less? Is it um less? Like from the... The... Uh normal games and from the you know less is special card maybe maybe that's her that's cool but i'm not sad i'll make new friends dueling with pokemon cards that's the way of thinking girl that's the way i'm training here at the rock club but, but mitch told me to defeat you before you duel the members here oh so that's one of his other um grunts <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm really sorry for calling them grunts, but <laughs> that's the first um, word that comes into my mind. Me being a non-native speaker. <laughs> Are you going to run? Come on, fight me! We will, but on the next episode, because I think these two duels um, took us a lot of time. Like, this uh, last one took us a, a lot of time, so... We're wrapping this episode right here, guys. So stay tuned for our 10th, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Episode of our TCG GBC series. Because it's gonna be, you know, pretty rough. So yeah, guys, stick around because we'll see you soon. Maybe next week. Bye.